Hello everyone Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to today's class Back again with me, Miss Abdi To learn English Hopefully, all of you enjoy your holiday And because the coronavirus is still around us Don't forget to keep doing everything with health protocols Today, we are going to talking about manners Especially how to use imperative sentence and how to ask someone permission. So what is imperative sentence? Imperative are verbs that create an imperative sentence. Or we can say a sentence that we use to give command or orders. When reading an imperative sentence, it will always sound like the speaker is posing someone around. Example, sit quietly in the living room. Don't forget your book. Be nice to your mother and father. Go to market and bring some fruits. Speak politely with your parents. Remember, to be more polite, you can use please. Can you please help me in this task? But be careful, use the verb without to and in. And don't use you. Don't run in the room. Help your parents at home. To make you understand more, let's listen to the conversation between Miss You and Miss M. Check this out. Miss You, what time is it? It's a quarter past one. Oh. Miss Amy? Huh? Uh, it's so dark. Can you turn on the lamp, please? Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Miss You, what are you doing? I'm sending email to my partner. Oh. Send me some photos on last event, please. Okay. To your WhatsApp? Yes. Okay. Miss Amy, you. tomorrow is a holiday. Mm -hmm. May I go to your house? Let's swim together. I'm so sorry. I already have plans to go with my mm -hmm. brother. Maybe we can go for next two weeks. Okay, next week. Mm -hmm. To listen to a song. May I borrow your airport? Do you have? Yes. Airport? This one? Okay. Thank you. Okay, as you listen, Miss You and Miss Amy use permission and imperative sentence in their conversation. Well, you can practice yourself to use permission, command, or orders at home in your daily life. See you again with the next video. Bye!